Sometimes we need to be very accurate while editing our projects. So when adding things like tracking, text, stickers, and so forth, try this method to increase your precision. Click on the icon below the preview window with the three little dots and select unpin player. Now maximize this player window and just like that, you have a full screen view allowing you to get as specific as possible. For this tip, it's best I show you an example. Here's two clips I've placed a simple transition between. See if you can notice the audio fading from the first clip into the second clip. And if you like these kind of tips, let me know by hitting that like button or leaving me a comment. The transition totally messed with the audio. This also happens when applying a fade in or fade out to your clip like this. And if you like these kind of tips, let me know by hitting that like button or leaving me a comment. Sometimes this is a good thing, and sometimes it's a nuisance. If it's a nuisance for you, there's an easy solution. All you need to do is detach the audio track from your original video clip. So to do this, simply right click on your video clip and select detach audio. That's it. Now you can enjoy adding fading or transitions to your clip without the awkward audio. And if you like these kind of tips, let me know by hitting that like button or leaving me a comment. Let's move on to the next tip. Have you ever wanted to drive attention towards something in your videos by adding zoom, only to find your zoom looking something like this? This choppy zoom will happen when your clip also has speed adjustments applied. I've found the more that you reduce or increase the speed of your clip, the choppier your zoom will look. So if this happens to you, here's an easy way to keep a smooth zoom. Be sure to save your project. You can do this by using the keyboard shortcut Control S. After saving, copy your desired clip by selecting the clip and using the keyboard shortcut Control C. After copying your clip, open a new project by hitting Control N. Now paste your copied clip into the new timeline and remove any zoom keyframes. To do that, right click on the keyframe and select Remove All Keyframes. With the keyframes removed, save and export this clip. Once exported, drag your freshly exported clip back into the original project and replace the original clip. Last thing to do is add your zooms back in. There we go, no more choppy zooms. See you later, alligator. Have you ever watched a video while wearing headphones and noticed audio coming from only one side? Kind of distracting, right? Well, if you're running into this issue after exporting any of your video clips, you can quickly resolve this by making an adjustment in your audio export settings. Here's what I've found to be the quickest and easiest way to fix this one-sided audio. First, if you're working on a project with multiple audio tracks, gather up all of the problem clips and insert them into a new project. Now, with your clips in the timeline, click on Export. Next, select Advanced and go to your audio export settings and under the channels selection, choose mono. Adjust the rest of your export settings as usual and click start. Now these exported video clips should have balanced audio, which you can use in any of your projects, however you like. Now for one last tip, check out this video.